In this quick video, I want to step through a process that you have probably already encountered before, or I can venture to say you will probably encounter in the future, and that is the process of migrating assets from one project to another. Now, if you're asking the question, why would I want to migrate assets? Um, there's a couple reasons for that. Um, you know, again, say that you've worked on a previous project and you want to take assets from that project, but move them over to another. Um, using the migrate tool is a great way to do that. Um, uh, secondly, another option is if you're trying to clean up your project, right? Like say you've got a bunch of old content that you've had in there, um, some old placeholders, but you want to get rid of those, but still retain it. The migrate tool is a very, very quick and easy way to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in and we'll start with the process of just exporting a single asset. So inside Unreal, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to uh, this master materials folder, which is from a, a previous video that we covered. Um, but in particular, I, I really like this master material, let's say, um, and I want to migrate that to a new project and I want to make sure I have all the dependencies. Now, there's really two ways you could do this. Um, the first is outside of Unreal, and that's just going into Windows Explorer, finding the content, copy and pasting it over. The problem you run in with using that method is you don't always know if you're grabbing all the right dependencies. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, this particular asset here has some additional functions and different uh, different things in other subfolders. So if I try to do it in Windows Explorer, I may grab just this one asset, migrate it, and find out in the new project I'm missing a bunch of things. That's where the migrate tool works great. So if we just jump in real quick, so I'm going to right click on this, asset actions, and migrate. Okay, so here we can immediately see it's already grabbed all my dependencies. Let's just make sure and I'll explain where these things are coming from. So I'm just gonna double click this guy and open it so we can see. Okay, so the first thing here is it's grabbing this ARME maps, which is our M inclusion roughness material maps function, which is right here. So this function itself resides in our, so mass materials, mass materials, material functions, there's that material function. So the migrate tool has already determined, hey, in order for you to use this master material you're trying to migrate, you're going to need this material function, which is here. Um, and let's actually look here real quick too. So we've got seven different material functions we've created here, but it's only showing four. That's because the asset we're exporting only uses those four and not the rest. So the migrate tool, again, is smart and intuitive to realize, hey, you're going to need all these things by migrating. So I've went ahead and collected them for you and they're ready to go. And then we simply hit OK. It would pop up another window saying, hey, where do you want to put these files? And that's where we would navigate to the new project. And we would go into the content folder by double clicking it and pressing OK. And it would migrate all of those assets. Um, so again, very helpful, very, uh, very handy to make sure that you're grabbing everything that you need for those particular assets. Um, so that's the first example. So let's move on to the second example, which is where we, uh, we want to migrate a lot more content than just a single piece. So in this example, um, it begs to ask the question, why would I want to export, say, like a map? Um, there's a few reasons for that. The first one is, you know, say you've got a lot of content or, you know, using this particular example we have up on screen, you know, it's a lightweight scene, but it has exactly the assets I want to move to a new project. So I could throw everything in there and say, I just want these guys. Um, that's a great way to do it. So it's the same process, right click, asset actions and migrate. Okay, now before we click that, I said that there's like a second reason for this. Um, the second reason, which you'll find a lot in production is, you know, say towards the end of your production of a particular, you know, project, you, you're realizing like, hey, we're really good. We're almost ready to ship. It, it's got a stable build. But as I'm looking over our, our, our project files, we've got a bunch of crap in there, right? Things that might've been like placeholders, things that we don't you know need anymore. So how do you get rid of it, right? You don't wanna just go line by line, delete, make sure it's okay. The migrate tool is a great way to kind of hack that. So, you know, let's say that, for example, you know, I've got this overview map, uh, which is right here, but let's say that it's an actual level in, you know, whatever your project is. If you right click, asset actions, migrate, 
you'll see we get the same list of things, but in this case, it's recognized everything that is within this particular map. So we've got our architecture, right? The room, the materials that go with it, the textures, our actual map itself. There's our master material, which is what's applied to these preview spheres. Um, and it's got all the material functions used on that, the placeholder text um, textures for it. It also has the mesh itself. It's got the materials associated, so on and so forth. So it's recognized everything that is within this map and it's packaged it ready to go to migrate. So where this comes in extremely handy is optimizing your projects for deployment. So this could be the very last step that you use, you know, so you'll create a new project where whatever engine version use the same one. Uh, but again, having empty content, there's nothing else in there. Go back to your previous content or, or your, your previous um, project, click the map that has all the content you want or maps, migrate those to the new project. And then, you know, you only have the assets you need to make that project run. So very, very handy, very, very useful. Um, and again, saves you a, a, a lot of headache uh, versus trying to just migrate everything within Windows Explorer. So again, to recap, um, doesn't matter if it's a map, if it's an asset, um, whatever it is that you're migrating, uh, I believe you can do folders too. Yep, there's the migrate feature as well. Um, all you do is you just right click on it, asset actions, and migrate. It'll pop up the window. Uh, and again, this is very, very key. It'll ask you, where do you want to put those? Um, and within your project, you know, you create your new project. There's usually like your default engine folder. There's the actual project itself, your saved folder. Uh, and then you've got a content folder. Double click that content folder. And within there, that's where you press OK. And it will create all of these uh, folders. Uh, an another point to this as well is to make sure you understand that, you know, whatever your folder structure is that you're migrating from, it is going to inherit and transfer those exact same folder structures to your new project. Um, so, you know, in this case, all of these different folders you see, so we've got our maps folder, master materials folder, um, our starter content, and uh, this is another one that we've got in here, which is wireframe blend. It's going to copy all of those into the new project. Um, at which point, if you want to do some cleanup, then you can, but that's not what we're going over. Um, just be aware that it's going to migrate what you have into the new content folder. Um, so again, quick tip, hope that helps. Um, see you guys in the next video.